All right, guys, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a hack to add some weight to your wedges. You've probably seen some of my videos where I have my dogs carry five pound dumbbells, two pound dumbbells to condition their jaw. This is something I learned from Bart and Michael Ballone. You wanna condition your dog's jaw so that they can have a better grip, they can have a stronger grip. And so they don't get tired as quick during bite work which the more tired they get, obviously the, the more their, their grip will suffer. So conditioning the grip is a really good exercise. A lot of dogs already want to carry the wedge. Um, you know, if your dog is chewy with it, it's not going to work. Your dog should at least want to carry it with a full grip. But I'm going to get a, um, a wedge. I'm going to add a little bit of weight to it. And I'm getting a spare uh, e-collar strap or any strap will work. I'm gonna shove this in here. So the two and a half pound um, weight plate is perfect because it fits there just nicely. And what I'm gonna do after that is I'm going to run the strap through, tighten it up. Now as my dog carries the, the wedge, it's gonna have a little bit of weight to it. And now as the dog carries this, now this already has some weight on it as it is without the weight plate, but all the two and a half pound weight is gonna do is just gonna add a little bit more weight. Now, if I wanted to do more, then I would stack another plate right next to it to give it five pounds. Now the five pounds plus the, the wedge uh, already has a little bit of weight to it. Now, if I wanted to add more, I suppose I could add more on the other side so I could have up to three plates on here and give my dog a really nice workout while carrying. But this would be more for you to kind of hand it to your dog, you double grab it, nice full grip, that should be a requirement. Uh, if your dog is chewy, this is not gonna work, then it's gonna just create bad habits. And now, you know, your dog can build this grip carrying this. This is Russ's second session with the weighted wedge. Now, First, I want to make sure he has a nice firm grasp on it. Bring. You're free. And you can tell. You can tell it's pretty heavy. The wedge is already heavy enough. Now adding two pounds. Sits. It's heavy so that he wants to bring it down. Now, by him just holding it, you can hear he's struggling with it. So I'm not going to keep him this too, too long. Because I don't want to burn him out. Rush, you're free. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Rusty. Let's go, buddy boy. Come here, buddy. Sit. Yeah. If he started to get chewy, this would not be good. Sit. So I'm going to take it from him because he's about to get exhausted. House. Good. So, so this is pretty. This is pretty heavy. Some wedges are pretty heavy. So adding two and a half pounds to it. I mean, it's it, it definitely is challenging. So this is an alternative approach to the dumbbell. He likes the dumbbell too. He looks forward to it. But uh, I guess if I had a dog that was not into the dumbbell or I hadn't done the whole train with them yet, I might start with this. As long as, as long as when they bite this, they're not chewy. If they're chewy with this, this would just be complete garbage. It would not be good for the dog. The dog would build a lot of bad habits. So I have to make sure that they have a nice firm grasp, firm, firm grip. Bring, right, 